Coming to the mat, feet hip width distance apart. And just start to let your breath come into your practice. Being grounded through the feet, be where you are. And let's move around a little bit, okay? So we're just going to let the arms come up and the knees and hips bend and just kind of wiggle things out for a moment. If you want to go side to side, just wake things up in case you've been sitting a bit today. All right, and now we're going to come to our mountain pose. So here's where we start to think about where everything is. We want the feet right in alignment, hip width distance, and then the hips over the ankles, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, and hands by your side with your palms face forward. Okay, so that opens up the shoulders in case you were doing this a lot today, right? Looking at screens or hunched over the telephone. Okay, inhale and exhale here and just start to notice your breath, how things are moving. What's happening in the breath? And just being observant but not forcing, start to see if the breath is going all the way through the body to the tips of the fingers, the tips of the toes, the crown of the head. See if you can gently encourage it to fill the whole body. All right, and now with nice long arms, we're going to reach up, reach up, inhale, take the palms together and bring the hands to the heart. Hands back down by your side and just go through that breath a few more times. Depending on the speed you go, it might be one or two times, it might be three. There's no, nothing to do here, just breathe. And wherever you are, let this be your last time, hands to heart center. And come back to standing. All right, loosen up a little bit so we can start our spinal series here. Back to those soft knees and soft hips. We're going to draw the arms forward, fingertips touch, and let the arms open back, open the heart. Fingertips touch forward, heart opens. Just whatever is feeling good for getting that spine moving and the shoulders. Oh, yeah. And the next time you're forward, just hold here. Now bring your arms overhead and square your feet so they're hip width distance and really engaged now because we're going to start some side to side tilting. Go ahead and take your right wrist in your left hand and without moving that right foot, tilt to the left and come on up to center and left wrist in the right hand, tilt to the right. And come on back up and we go left and up and right yeah and up so we're going to do that two more times to each side nice and gentle kind of waking up the side body here and left and right and now we're going to go back over to the left. Make sure that right foot is still grounded. Extend the arms here and take that right shoulder back so the heart shines up, the arms open. And then come back over to the left. Bring it up. Take the left wrist in the right hand. Tilt to the right with that left foot still grounded. Extend the arms and draw that left shoulder back as the heart opens. And come on back to center and up and return to mountain pose good and shake things out. All right, so grab your block. Okay, everybody have a block. 
We're going to be putting this block in between the thighs. So it's the narrowest side in between your thighs, right? Don't try, don't try and do this. Narrowest side in between your thighs. The feet are hip width distance apart. So what we're aiming for here is for the hips to stay forward as we twist side to side, right? Yes, hips are forward, twisting side to side. So let's warm that up. And now let's add a little more arm action with the arms out to the side, elbows bent. Lengthen through the spine and keeping those hips just how they were forward, twist to the right and come center, lengthen through the spine, twist left, yes, and come back to center, and we're going back, twist right. Notice if the hips are staying forward, the block will give you good information about that, come forward, lengthen, twist left, and forward, we're going to do it one more time with the block, so lengthen through the spine, and twist right and center and lengthen twist left good and center okay now go ahead and remove that block put it off to the side but not too far because we're going to use it again later in our practice the hip, feet are still grounded the hips are still square we're taking the arms out Lengthen through the spine, and just as though that block were still there, we're twisting to the right. And this time, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, extend your hands, and take your, your arms long, and take your gaze towards your right hand. And the next time you exhale, take your gaze to the left. And the next time you exhale, take your gaze back to the right, and back to goalpost arms here. Okay, inhale, put length in your spine. Pretend that block is still there, keeping the hips forward, twist to the left. Inhale, more length. Exhale, the arms long as you turn your gaze towards your left fingertips and breathe. And the next time you exhale, turn your gaze towards your right fingertips. And back to the left. And then bring everything center. Bring the arms up and just softly fold down and up. Even if you want to take your feet a little wider, if that feels good, just bring it down and up. So down might be down this much, right? Down might be down all the way. It could be anywhere in between. Just do what's feeling good to you. It's Wednesday, we might as well, right? <sighs> And then the next time you come up, step your feet back, hip width distance apart, reach really tall, and bring your hands down. All right, just wiggle around, shake it out. Okay, how's everybody doing? Starting to warm up good. All right. Okay, so um, we're going to do some standing core work tonight. Yay! Can I hear a yay? And that is also going to involve some balance. So let's start working on that right away, okay? We're going to plant the feet hip width distance, put the hands to the hips, and then just raise the right heel and see what happened on the left side. Did the left side do this or is it still tall and strong? Left side tall and strong. We've raised the right heel and now we're going to float that knee up and see what happens. If it's not a good night to bring the foot off the mat, then just keep the toes down. All right, here, we're back to standing, okay? So now we're gonna try on the left side. We're gonna take the foot, left foot to the toe. See if we did this, just jump the hip out, get that leg back to straight, and float the knee up. Good, and release, shake it out. And we want to use our gaze to help us, so find something that isn't moving as we continue going through the, these um, standing abs, all right? So we want to find something that isn't moving, okay? Now go ahead, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Just take your right leg back with the heel lifted, left knee bends, right? And we're going to have the arms back. 
and then start lifting the arms as we draw the right leg through and step back lift the arms draw the right leg through so go ahead and give that a shot see how that's going for you okay if you want to have one hand on a chair or a wall that's possible too just do your best with it yep okay so it's going to be this if the hands are positioned all right and then you guys go ahead and take that right leg back stay here arms are back and just step forward and come into mountain pose. All right, ready to try that on the other side? And notice if there's a trickier side, right? One side is behaving a little uh, better than the other. Okay, so we're back in mountain pose here. Okay, remember you can have your hands gently touching something for support. Slide that left leg back with the heel lifted, arms are back. And we start to bring the knee through, moving balance, lift, and come back, just like you did before. Lift through, and come back. And see how the side likes that. Keep going. Take it back and hold, and then step forward. Inhale and exhale. All right, so the core had to work in order to do that, or you would have fallen over, right? Can we agree on that? Now we're gonna take it a little farther. So it's going to turn into more of a warrior three with the arms extended, all right? So we're gonna start on the right again. Slide that right leg back, the heel is lifted, okay? And now, we're going to lift, draw the knee through, and this time instead of putting the foot down, take the arms back into airplane with the leg lifted and take the hands by your ears and then come to standing. Woo, that was a lot, I know it was. Let's try that on the left. We're sliding back, left leg, left knee is bending, okay? And we're going to lift, Bring the left knee through, and then come back to airplane. Core is working the whole time. And from here, take the arms by the ears, extended warrior three. Good. You can guess which side is giving me more trouble tonight, and come back. Whew. All right. Okay, so a little wake up for the core there. And don't worry, we will do more core, but that was just a little wake up for it, okay? So let's start to make our way down to the earth. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale and exhale. Mountain pose at the top of your mat. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Remember the swan dive goes as high or low as you feel like. Take your hands to your thighs, come into your half lift, shine your heart forward. Drop your hips as you take your hands down and find your way back to downward facing dog. Okay, hands could be on a chair, right? And we're gonna bend one knee and then the other, walk the dog, inhaling and exhaling. Press one heel down and hold. Press the other heel down and hold. Press both heels down and hold. And bring both knees down, come into table. Okay, we're going back to the core here. So we're going to take the right leg back, tuck the toes, extend the left arm long, and without moving those hips, remember how we kept the hips nice and steady when we were twisting, lift your right leg and your left arm and tap down and lift up. Tap down, lift up. Long arm, long leg, it's down and up. Mm -hmm. One hand on the chair, leg back, other arm up, works also. And hold everything, arm and leg, and release. Okay, now it's going to be left leg back, okay? And 
Right arm comes long front, okay? And you lift up, tap down. Whether you're on your right knee or not, it's the same motion, up, tap down. Yes, up, tap down. Good, up, tap down. Take it up and hold. Bring the hand and knee down. All right. Let's release a little bit here. Rock those hips around. Move in a circle. Move in a circle the other direction. Good. And sit off to the side. Draw your legs long. And come into seated mountain pose. Inhaling and exhaling. All right. Let's go ahead and shake things out and work on more hip opening here. So go ahead and bend your knees and take this down to the earth here. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, Apanasana, um, half and full, All right? Extend both arms and both legs long. Take your right knee only in. Extend right leg and both arms long. Take your left knee only in. Extend both arms and both legs and bring both knees in. All right, continue going through that, okay? On the chair, it's gonna be bring the knee in. Out, bring the knee in, okay? Or you could do it seated, yes, leg up. Mm -hmm. You guys keep going, leg up and down, leg up leg down. Anything that gets that hip moving and nice and juicy. All right, so you guys, if you're doing apanasana, you're going right, left, and then the next time you've got both knees in, hold it in. Good, and let's rock a little side to side here. Release the spine. All right, we're gonna bring the feet down in a chair. This will be rainbows, knee up and out to the side, the foot out to the side. Otherwise, extend arms and legs, bring your right knee in. That left leg can bend if it wants to. Hold on to the right shin or hamstring and let the right leg open and close. So you can see it's a very similar action, out to the side and back to center out to the side and back to center. Good, now pause here. Take your left hand outside of the right leg. Take your right arm out for balance and just let that knee come across. Seated, you might cross the legs at the thighs here to get the same kind of stretch. And now let that right knee come all the way over to the left. Your right shoulder still on the earth here. Gaze past your right fingertips. Good. And let's release back to center as you let your left, this would be your right, right ankle come across your left thigh. Draw that leg in. Hold on to your right shin and just move around. Yeah, make some nice circles with the hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice hip release here. All right, release. Bring two feet to the mat here. Open and close the knees. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So extend, two arms, two legs, draw the left knee in. Yep. Right arm out to the side here, and we let that left leg open to the left. Okay, so if you're in a chair, you're gonna be doing this. Out and back, out and back. Good, and take it back to center. And go ahead and take your right hand outside your left shin. Take your left arm out to the side and let that knee come across. So in a chair, you might just cross your legs and gently, okay? There you go. 
All right. Now let that knee come all the way over to the right if we haven't already done that. And then come back through center, left ankle across the right thigh, draw the leg in, hold on to the left shin, and let that leg just move around, let that hip move around. See how everything's feeling. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. And then go ahead, bring both feet down to the mat and let those knees open and close. All right, super. We're going to make our way now to hands and knees. So we're back to hands and knees. Remember to give yourself some padding if your knees prefer padding here, okay? So if you're working at a chair, this would be better at the wall so you could do some push-ups. Bring your arms forward, come into knee down plank, always knee up is possible if you prefer, and push up, and hips back. So our just standard movement here, plank, push up, hips back. Plank, push up, hips back. Yep. And then we're going to, yeah, so do your, do your push-ups with your hands on the chair then, okay? And then find your child's pose here. Hips back, knees wide, okay? Any resting, relaxing position. And find your way to down dog. Feel all the length that down dog gives you here in the back of the legs, through the spine. The head is a natural extension of the spine. It's right in line with those upper arms. Inhaling and exhaling. And just take any journey that works for you to bring your feet to your hands. Could be several small steps, a few large steps, hippity hops, whatever you want. When you get to your hands, bring your hands to your thighs, shine your heart forward, hop, lift, exhale, fold. And then think about the feet being super grounded and the upper body being light as a feather. Exhale here. And then as you come up, float the arms out and up. The upper body is super light. The lower body is super grounded. Palms touch. Good. And hands come heart center. And we release. All right. Let's get some sun salutations in so everything is warm, strong, lengthened, and strengthened, right? So let's come to the top of the mat here. And we're going to add some arm movements to the top of our sun salutation. So the feet are hip width distance, arms are up, inhale, right arm back, left arm forward, twist to the right, arms up, inhale, left arm back, right arm forward, twist, arms up, elbows to waist, heart shines up, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, Swan dive. Remember in swan dive, we don't care how far down the hands come. We want to keep the legs straight and notice the sensations in our hamstrings here. Now bring your hands to your thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward, heart forward, and go ahead and let those hips come closer toward the mat. Bring the hands down, step back with your right leg, and hang out in this lunge, moving around, feeling those hips release. Right hip, left hip, everything's nice and getting nice and juicy here. Inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and bring that right knee down. It's way behind the right hip here. Engage your core and float up into a low crescent lunge. 
Good. And now from here, we're going to take the hands together, bring the hands to heart center, put some length in your spine, and twist toward your bent knee. So whether the elbow comes to the knee or you're halfway toward the knee, doesn't matter, just twist toward your bent knee. And release, hands down, find your way to a plank. It could be knees up or down. Your hands could be on a wall or chair, right? The core is engaged here. Chaturanga down. Okay, and we're gonna lift into a cobra, shine the heart forward and release and find your way to down dog, however that goes for you. Table to dog, lift up to dog, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the length of dog here. Now we're gonna take the right leg up, feel the core engage, keep those hips square and tap the toes down and up, down and up. Tap down and up and one more down. Hold it up, draw the right knee through, lift your, onto your left toes as much as possible and take whatever big step comes to you and then just go ahead and bring your left knee down and arrange yourself for crescent lunge with the left knee back. So however big your step originally was, doesn't matter. Bring your back knee down and come into your crescent lunge, nice. Inhale and exhale, let's bring those palms together, hands to the heart, lean forward, put lots of length in the spine, and now take your left elbow toward the right. It might come to the knee, it might just go not as far as the knee, either way, you're in a beautiful twist, and then bring the hands down, tuck your back toes, lift that back knee, engage all your muscles and take a giant step forward with your left foot. Take a half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center when you're ready. All right, how's everybody doing so far? Okay, are we do doing okay? All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna have a little balance challenge now. So when you're in your crescent lunge, twisted to the side, you can stay right here, or the option will be to tuck your back toes and lift that back knee, okay? So that's just a little extra option. Remember, it's an option, okay? All right. So if you're doing your crescent lunge with your hands on the chair and you twist, then you, that's, your knee is already lifted, so you don't need to worry about that. Bring the feet hip width distance apart. Take a couple of breaths. We're gonna start with opening to the left, right? So inhale the arms up and left arm back, right arm forward, twist left. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, inhale, center, elbows to waist, heart shines up. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale into your swan dive. Wherever your hands are supposed to go right now, that's where you want them. Bring your hands to your thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward. Bring the hips down toward the mat, hands down, step back with your left leg this time, and hang out in this lunge, wiggling around, just letting those hips get have some fun, <laughs> get more and more released. Bring the left knee down and float up into your crescent lunge. And we're going to take the hands to the heart, palms touching, lengthen through the spine, and take your left elbow toward your right knee, okay? Now you can stay right here, that's perfect, or you can tuck your back toes and try and lift that back knee, if that works for you. If not, bring the knee back down, it's fine. Unwind, bring your hands down, and find your way to a plank. Knees up or down, Let's see it, you're going plank. Inhale, 
and exhale. All right, and from your plank, go ahead and chaturanga down. All right, so we're going to do this cobra just a few times. So just lift into a nice cobra, gentle cobra, and release. Lift into cobra again, and maybe extend the arms a little more. Use the hands to help you lift a little higher. Yeah, and release. And one more time, just any height of cobra that you choose to do right now. Just move into it and exhale, release. All right, let's go ahead and release the spine. So make a pillow with your hands. Okay, if your hands are on a chair, just wiggle your hips side to side. We're gonna bend the knees here and let the legs go side to side. Good, bring your feet down, hands under the shoulders, okay? So you can go table to dog if you want. You might decide to do a lift up, which would be hands under the shoulders, toes tucked, gaze toward the mat. Press yourself halfway up. Press yourself the rest of the way up and come into down dog. However you choose to get to down dog is great. Inhale and exhale. So we're gonna even the body out, right? There's four points to this dog. And now, with the hips still squarely facing toward the mat, raise the left leg to hip height with the toes pointing down, and tap down and up with the left leg down and up. And then holding the left leg up, take whatever big step, so come to the toes of your right foot as much as possible to give you some space to bring that left leg forward, right knee down, arrange yourself for the low crescent lunge, bring your hands to your heart, extend the spine, and take your right elbow toward your left knee. Maybe it gets there, maybe it stops, so either way is fine. And you can stay here or tuck your right toes and see about lifting that right knee. Yeah. All right, release, hands to the mat. Engage all the muscles of your body, super strong. Take a big step forward with your right foot. Half lift, forward fold. Once again, the feet are super grounded. The lower half of the body is super heavy, upper body is super light. As you inhale, float the arms out and up. Just float. And palms touch. Good. And hands come heart center. And we release. All right, let's shake things out. So we're going to release the shoulders and the hips and create some energy with our next pose. The feet are wider than hip width distance. Not as wide as if we were doing a warrior two or triangle, but just wider than hip width distance. We bend, the knees are going over the toes whenever we bend, okay? All right, so now we're gonna take the legs straight, take the arms straight overhead. Now, as you exhale, turn your palms out, arms come to shoulder height, knees are out. Staying right here, hands come forward, and we gather energy in. Now reach up, straighten the legs, arms out, knees bend, stay here, reach forward, gather energy in. So it's up, out, forward, and in. A couple more times, now we have it. Up, out, forward, and in, one more, up, out, forward, and in, and then reach up, reach up, and step together, shake things out. Okay, so that was good release for the shoulders and the hips especially. 
Okay, we're going to do uh, some oblique work now on the core. So pick up your block again. Okay, I can't believe I forgot to turn this thing off. So out it goes. All right, sorry about those little pings from the phone. All right, so we're going to hold the block now in between the hands, okay? And take the hands up by the shoulders, right? So just shoulder height here. The block is long ways in between the hands. And let's take those legs back out to where they were with the toes facing out and let the knees move up and down as you do this, okay? So we're gonna turn to the right and come center and turn to the left and come center and right and center and left and center. Now right and center and left. Good, and center. One more to the right and center. One more left and center. Okay, now we're going to take the block to the left and swing it up to the right. Take it down and swing it up to the left. So we're kind of tilting as we do this and extending. Let those legs move naturally. Going right and left. And the next time you go to the left, you'll be even and come on back center. And now just bend your knees, bend your knees and let that block go. Put it off to the side and then stand back up. Use those legs, really press through the feet. Inhale and exhale. All right, so one more thing we're going to do. We're gonna take the arms out, bend slightly at the elbows here. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? And keeping the arms big like you're hugging the biggest beach ball you've ever seen, twist right and center and left and center, twist right, and left, twist right, and left. It gives us a slightly different range of motion than we had when we were holding the block with the hands, going to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and the next time you go left, You'll be even, come center, shake everything out. Woo, bring it back and shake around. Alrighty, how's everybody doing? So now that we have the oblique super strong, right, from what we just did, as well as flexible, we're going to use them in our triangle pose. All right, so if you could take this block out of your way, this time when we take the legs wide, they're super wide. We're going to turn the right toes forward and the left toes in at an angle. So in triangle, the legs stay straight, the shoulders stay stacked. Okay, so triangle is not this, reaching for your foot and bending forward, right? Triangle, your hand might be on your thigh, but your shoulders are stacked, that's what we want. Okay, so we're keeping the legs straight, arms float out, and we reach and release. We reach and release, reach and release. Now reach, reach, reach. Let that right hand drop gently to the right leg. Turn your palm out, don't press into your leg and draw your left arm up. Take your gaze toward your toes, toward the center of your space, and then possibly up toward those left fingertips. That's a big balance challenge. Triangle here and lift it up. All right, now we're gonna go back to triangle. So we reach, reach, reach with the right, hand down, left arm up. Now take your right arm parallel to the earth, left arm parallel to the right, core triangle here, and we're going to lift. 
Keeping those arms long, we're going to go back into core triangle. Yes, and lift. Woo! And that was our triangle series for today. Go ahead and bring the hands down and let's take the legs together, shake everything out because we're going to be doing the same thing on the left. Everybody okay with that? Any questions? Any changes needed for anybody? All right, we're taking the legs super wide, left toes forward, right toes in at an angle. Same deal, legs stay straight, shoulders stay stacked, arms are out, shoulder height, and we reach and release and reach and release. Reach and release. Now reach, reach, reach. Let that left hand drop with the palm turned out and the right arm up. Good, good triangle. Take your gaze towards your toes, towards center, and possibly toward those right fingertips, balance challenge. And then come on up, long arms still. And we reach forward and back into triangle on the left. This time let the left arm come parallel to the earth, right arm parallel to the left, core triangle, and reach all the way up. Keeping those arms long and overhead, good. We take it triangle to the left here. Long, long, long. Yes, and lift up. All right, hands to the hips, all 10 toes forward. Put your index fingers in your hip creases and just start to fold over your hip creases, keeping your hips over your ankles as much as possible and go as little or as much as you want to into this forward fold. You can let your hands roll down your legs, right? If you're high, your hands are gonna be high. If you're low, your hands will be lower. And then bring your hands back to your hips. Come halfway up and come the rest of the way up. Okay, we're gonna do one more forward fold here, okay? And we're going to take the hands forward into a wide-legged dog. So the hands are, um, the index fingers are at the hip creases, spine is long, fold, 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 hips over ankles, hands down. Even if it means bending your knees, bring your hands down. Walk your hands forward, keep your heels grounded, and only go as far as, take the hands as far forward as you can, keeping the heels grounded. We're in wide-legged, downward-facing dog. And just breathe here. So earlier we were noticing the release in dog. Think about the wide-legged down dog What's releasing for you here? How's that feeling? Start to walk your hands back. Once again, those knees might want to bend. Let them bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up. Stand the rest of the way up. And then heel toe or hop your feet back together and shake the legs out. All right. Let's just move around freely here, right? Let everything go. Oh, just let the body kind of wiggle around, see what's feeling a little bit stuck maybe. <sighs> see what's feeling great too, right? Okay, and then look around, see if there's anything you want for final relaxation. It might be an eye pillow, it could be something to cover you up if your space has cooled off, because we will be moving more slowly and we, you know, we'll be a little cooler when we come down to the earth. And then when you're finished moving around, come to mountain pose at the top of your mat here. Find your breath, find your equal standing here. And just notice how things are moving around in your body. Breath and energy, what is their path? Is anything blocking? And on your next inhale,
inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over those hip creases. Remember, we don't care if the hands are high or low. You just want to keep those legs straight and get a nice release in the hamstring. Bring your hands to your thighs, shine your heart forward, half lift, sink the hips down. Bring the hands down and step back to down dog. If you've had it with down dog for today, just go ahead into table, that's fine. Okay, if you're in down dog, bring your big toes together and let your knees go to one side, hips to the other. If you're in table, just let your hips rock side to side. Just a little more releasing here. Come center, bring the knees down and sit off to the side, legs long, coming into a seated mountain pose. Inhaling and exhaling. So seated mountain pose is very vigorous because the legs are long, the feet are strongly flexed, the spine is long, everything's engaged. We turn the palms out here, exhale, and as you inhale, draw energy up from the earth. Now turn your palms out and as you bring your hands down, feel your spine lengthen even more as the hands come down. So instead of the spine collapsing, it lengthens. And let's do that one more time. Long inhale lengthens the spine. Long exhale lengthens the spine. All right, and let's give those legs a nice little shake here, coming into some nice, gentle forward folding. So just gently float the arms up and exhale, melt forward. So come into something that feels comfortable to you. So forward folding is great for the hamstrings and to release the spine, but it's also a good place to just hang out with yourself for a moment. And then roll your hands up your legs, and we'll do that one more time, just drawing the arms up and coming into a comfortable fold where we can just hang out with ourselves. And then roll back up to seated. Go ahead and bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat, and roll down to the earth here. Okay, inhale and exhale. So we're going to be going into reclined pigeon in the stationary form of it, right? So let's first let those knees open and close here. And now take your right ankle across your left thigh and start to draw your right leg to you as your left foot comes up. And see what's happening with this right knee. Is it headed towards your face? Gently press it away from you. And then put your right hand through your legs. Hold on to your left leg somewhere. Your right foot is flexed. And now we start to focus on the left knee. We want the left knee in line with the left shoulder. Might as well have it in a good position for hip opening as we just relax into this reclined pigeon okay so we're just here breathing and we're going to be here for a while so send your breath into that right hip and just envision the hip opening and releasing 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 And take your right leg straight up and point and flex. That's your left leg. Sorry about that. Point and flex your left foot. And circle the ankle one direction and the other. And release, unwind, we're 
on two feet to the mat and gently let your knees open and close, little butterfly wings. So now we're going to do the other side, left ankle across right thigh with the left foot flexed, draw the legs towards you and notice if this left knee is headed towards your face, just press it away a little bit with your left hand and then put your left hand in between your legs and hold on to your right leg somewhere. It could be behind the hamstring, it could be uh, the outer edges of your leg. And now let's make sure that right knee is right where we want it in line with the shoulder. And as we relax into this position, send your breath to that left hip, letting anything that needs to be released leave. Maintaining this pigeon position here, take your right leg straight up, point, and flex. Circle one direction and the other. And then release, unwind two feet to the mat and gently let those knees open and close. Extend both arms and both legs long. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw the knees in. Give yourself a nice little hug here. Rock around, little spinal release here. Put the hands on the knees. The hands will not leave the knees as we make some circles. Press the knees forward to the right, in, and to the left. And make some little circles like that. And hold the knees in as we go the other way. So press away to the left, in, and to the right, and circle. And bring it in. Okay, let's release those feet to the mat, hands by your side. Extend those fingers, wiggle them in. Extend, wiggle them in. Extend, wiggle, and then rotate at the wrists one direction and the other. And with your hands by your side, just let your head go side to side. And bring the head back to center. Take a moment to scan the body. See if any kinds of movement are being requested here. Whatever's going on, move around any way that the body is asking for. Start to find your alignment and your leg position for final relaxation. Okay, so do anything that it takes to put you in a place where you can just release and let go for our most important pose of the whole practice, final relaxation. So as you start finding your way into that position, making sure everything's happy and comfortable, inhale through the nose, 
and slowly exhale, release. And one more time, inhale through the nose. And as you slowly exhale, just let your body melt onto the earth. Let the earth do its work of supporting you as you move into final relaxation. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body, moving your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, stretch the arms and the legs long. Exhale, draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. And find your way over to the side. And as you're ready, back up to a nice, easy seat. And turning your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.